It was a wild week at the CIF Regionals. Orange County teams went one and four, but it never ends. Now it's time for the CIF State Tournament. Hello everybody, welcome to the OC Varsity Boys Hoop Show. I'm Jonathan Camus, being joined by our OC Varsity Boys Hoop guru, Steve Fryer. And I mentioned that Orange County teams went one and four in the CIF playoffs, Steve. Uh, that one team to win a championship, Tustin High School. Here we are at this beautiful new gym. I mean, anybody who's a who's an Orange County basketball fan, you got to check out this gym. It, they really did some great work with it. But um, they play Ocean View tomorrow night, Steve. And Ocean View is as tough as they come. I mean, these guys went into St. John Bosco and nearly beat the Braves. The Braves, of course, going on to win CIF. So what are we looking forward to in this matchup tomorrow night? I think it has the opportunity to be a high-scoring game, Jonathan, because there's guys that can fill the bucket on both teams. You've got Kendall Small and Tyler Birch over there on the Ocean View side, and then you've got that two-headed monster sort of, sort of thing here at Tusk with DeAndre Bryant and Nick Hornsby, both guys. You, you, you can't you know, lose track of either one of those two guys. Uh, and, and the Ocean View guys, same thing with Small and Burst. Those guys can fill it up pretty good. So it looks like it could be just a dynamite offensive matchup. But, you know, sometimes when we get to the regionals, Jonathan, um, it can be a bit of an anticlimactic thing. People have, you know, won their section championships or got to the finals or whatever. And then, you know, getting the energy back up, whether they won or lost the sectionals and getting that energy back up again for the regionals sometimes is a challenge. So we'll see how that comes out with this Ocean View testing game. Yeah, I, I expect an outstanding matchup tomorrow. Tyler Birch is really one yeah. of the best players, best sophomores we have in the county. He's got an outstanding touch. And for more with the Tillers, we caught up with them earlier. As our coach always says that we're we're glad of what we just did but we're still not satisfied so we still want to go far in in regionals and get get to state we know even though we're a good team nothing's for granted everyone in this level is even better than who we played last level or they all made it that far so we're gonna have to go and play harder than we even did in cif how does it feel to be a champ has it sunken in yet uh kind a little bit yeah maybe once we get the rings it might but you know we just have to take care of tomorrow night so looking forward to the next game a new thing for the CIF state playoffs this year, an open division, yeah. uh, much like football here. We're creating an open division. Of course, controversy with which teams made it, which teams didn't make it. One of the teams that made it was Modern Day. How do you like Modern Day's chances in the open division there? I think they look really good. You know, I think there's been three or four Modern Day teams in the past that lost, you know, sometime in the CIF Southern yeah. Section playoffs, whether it be the finals or whatever, and then, you know, got, got off the mat and then went to the uh, state tournament and got hot and, mm -hmm. and won state championships. So, so this year's team has a chance to do that. They're really skillful and very talented. And, you know, whether they get a rematch with Etiwanda in the state tournament, because Etiwanda is also in the open division, as is St. John Bosco, as is Long Beach Poly. So it's a really, really fun division. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to see how that unfolds. Uh, Modern Day almost completing that epic comeback. That would have yeah. been something. Um, division one, Steve, mm -hmm. uh, Mission Viejo makes it in, and they haven't played in a while, huh? Yeah, they got beat in the quarterfinals by Inglewood. Um, but that was still good enough to get into the state tournament because when Modern Day, which would be Division One if not for the Open Division, when Modern Day got pushed up into Division and this Open Division, as did Etiwanda, as did Long Beach Poly, it created you know the opportunity for a quarter finalist to become one of the you know eight or so uh, Southern Section teams in Division One. So Mission Viejo hasn't played since February 22. So that's like a week and a half, and they got to get the uniforms cleaned up or find out where they left them and put them <laughs> back on and, and get ready to play a, a Palisades of Los Angeles. And also you've got Dana Hills is still alive. They were a semifinalist. They are okay. playing at Mission Hills in San Marcos, and El, uh, then El Toro's home against El Camino. El Toro uh, lost in the one single-A uh, championship game. Yeah, they, they lost that one. Uh, Orange County teams didn't uh, fare no. too well here, Steve Fryer. So let's hope these uh, OC teams of ours fare a little bit better here in the CIF State Playoffs. Thanks to Steve Fryer, I'm Jonathan Camus. Be sure to check out ocvarsity.com all week for all your playoff information. We've got you covered, and thanks for watching.